Hello and welcome back to Tormented Souls. This time it's part four and this time I have a fancy new light that allows me to illuminate the area and also use my weapon at the same time. Now, there's a couple of areas so far where that could be very beneficial. This is one of them because this allows me to get through him. So, what is it, five nails? Thought it was gonna be four then, but no, it's five. So we should be able to pass on by. So this is the area that we unlocked at the end of the last video, and this, I suppose, is going to take us into 2A? Yeah. All right. Oh, on the other side. Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I was going to get a reaction there. He just shook his head and, well, I don't know, I thought he was just going to leave me be. Oh, I do love this shotgun. Right, let's see. Let's, uh, let's go back to the nailer and let's finish this guy off. Okay, is he done? I think he's done. People have mentioned various times now that I can also use the crowbar as a melee weapon. But uh, I've got a healthy supply of ammo so far, so I don't think I necessarily need to do that. Interesting. I wonder, does that also open the door, you know, on the other side in reality? Because that might allow me to get to... I think it's, what is it, the lance charge thing that's here? Hmm. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything apart from torture devices and stuff on this side. Uh, let's see. Anything? Nails? Shotgun shells? Another crowbar so I can dual wield? Nah, I should be so lucky. What about through here? Oh? Hang on, is this gonna be... That's gonna be a nice little shortcut, isn't it? Back to the mirror. Okay, well, yeah, let's go through and let's see what's changed. I'm hoping that the door is now open. So, yeah, let's go through here. Mm-hmm, two-way. And it's open. Fantastic. So, yeah. Is this a new weapon? It's a homemade stabbing weapon capable of releasing an electric charge. Right, well, I've got the ammunition for it, I think. Or some of it. Yeah, the electric lance charge. And there it is, the electric lance. Awesome. There you go. So, uh, another melee weapon, basically. But, yeah. I'm sure I'll give this a go. Did I see another med kit? I did. Cool. Cool. How am I doing? Am I... Yeah, I'm still fine. I'm still fine. Nice. Right, so... Um, I won't be getting that open, because that's just going to lead to some broken floorboards. Uh, are we done? We might be done. I don't think there's anything else for us to do here. So, now, what I'm, what I'm probably going to do is either go back to the reception to deal with that cash register puzzle, which people have given me, you know, many hints, tips, and suggestions about, or I should go to the other area where I need my light and a weapon, which I believe was that laundry room, shower room area on the ground floor. So, yeah. Let's go this way. And, uh... Well, I suppose let's go to the reception area first. If I take the elevator down there, that's gonna that's gonna take me right to it, pretty much. So, yeah, thank you very much for your hints, your tips, your suggestions. There's various methods, it seems, that I can employ to try and find a solution. It seems like maybe one or two of them are gonna be more likely than others. Um, and I, I think they all really focus on how many lines are going through the circle in each of those images. All right, so... So I'm hearing an enemy. Why am I hearing an enemy? Hold on, hold on. What's going on here? Oh god. Whoa! Okay! Right, uh, shall we, shall we test this out? Let's test this out, shall we? Oh damn. Oh, it, it, it knocked him down. It, it definitely knocked him down. And I think this is going to keep him down. Alright. Oh, he doesn't know whether he wants to attack me or not. He's in two minds. And to be honest, after what I just did to his friend, I can understand why. Let's go finish him off, though. Right. Okay, this time, I think it's gonna be... I guess I could pull the crowbar out, but let's, let's be safe. Let's use the nailer. Is he down? I think now he's down. Right. Okay, so... 
they're new. Uh, I don't know if the game's updated or if it's because I picked up the uh, the new light source. Probably one of those, though. All right. Well, here we go. Okay, so let's just take a look at the clue again. All right, so that's two and that's three. I think... Uh, what I'm going with is, I think I actually did mention this in the previous video as well, I think it's, it's the lines going through the circle, so there's two lines making the X going through the circle in the middle to make the two, and then that three is in the corner, so there's the vertical, the horizontal, and the diagonal line hitting it, so that's why it's three. I think. I think. That's, uh, that's the logic I'm employing, and uh, that's hopefully what's going to get us through this puzzle. So... Oh, I'm sorry. Is this just much more dangerous now? Or okay. It seems like they're on the other side, so I, I should be okay. Provided they don't fucking spit at me. Uh, so, okay, let's have a look at the files. It was this one, and I believe three? Yes, that's right. Okay, so it seems like if I'm going on this logic, the circle isn't being hit by any lines. It's on its own, so that one's probably going to be zero, okay? So, okay, let me just <laughs> let me just get my book out. Let me just write this down so I don't have to keep going back and forth. Right. Okay, so that one's zero. This one... Now, it could be four or five. But I'm thinking it's probably four. We're counting this one as one line, okay? It's not one, then two. It could be, though. So it's, it's four or five. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with four. This one, it looks like there's just one line going through it. So it's a, it's a one or a two, but I'm siding with one. And then this one, one, two, three, four. Shall we go with four? So that would be what? Zero, four, one, four. Well, that, that's going to be the first thing I try anyway. So let's see. Zero, four, one, four. That seems to work. Thank you very much for your help. Okay. So we've got a vial of morphine, fantastic, uh, and I think most importantly we have a strange coin with some sort of symbol. Oh? Okay. And what are these? It's like a constellation for something. Huh, okay. Right, well, uh, hmm. There might be more to this coin than actually meets the eye. To be honest, I thought I was going to just put it in the vending machine, but... No. That's it? I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, nothing else to do here. Thank you very much for that. Right. Uh, right, let's go back. Let's go back. Actually, it's just through here where I should be able to use the coin, right? So, yeah, it's this vending machine. It's no longer out of order. It is in the past, but I guess it was fixed. Coin. There. I guess we're having a maximum soda. We <laughs> don't really have much of a choice. Oh, really? Okay, is this Simon Says, essentially? Okay. One, four, three. Alright. This is probably going to get quite complex. Two, 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 four. One. Okay. Four, four, five, two, two. Four, four, five, two, two. All right. Hey, we've got... That is not maximum soda. <laughs> That's actually a blood bag filled with blood. Maybe I should take it back upstairs. I mean, that guy's arm has... Well, it, it's fallen off and it's been reattached, but he probably does need some more blood, right? Okay. Uh, it looks like it's A positive. I don't know if that's his blood type. It looks like that's all I can really do with it. So, okay. Um, right. So that's that. But since we're here, let's go through the studio area, that, that save room. And let's see if we can get to that other dark area where I need to uh, kill something. Oh, it's so nice. Not having to pull the lighter out all the time. The lighter, I'm sure, is still going to be useful for, like, you know, lighting candles and stuff like that, but... Right. This way? Hang on. 
That sounds mobile. In fact, it sounds like there's a few things that are mobile around here. Oh boy. Oh, what a dodge. What a dodge. Keep it going. Keep it going. Right. Let's finish this guy. Right. It sounds like there is another one on the way. Hopefully, he doesn't know exactly where I am. Okay. So, it's this guy that I'm talking about. Okay. So, he is blocking access to... Well, potentially uh, two rooms. So this is going to be the laundry past him, and then maybe I've got access to the shower room as well, because that door's locked. So, right, let's take care of this guy. Right, he's down, he's out, he shouldn't be coming back. Fingers crossed. Alright. Is that? Well, that looks like a door to me, but <laughs> I guess not, it might be a window. Right, so, laundry room? Laundry room, okay. So let's see. Uh, let's get that reloaded just in case. And I suppose I'm going to do the same thing with the lance, too. Okay, so I just added an extra one in. I didn't replace them completely. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, sure. Here we are. We are actually uh, running out of nails a little bit, so it'd be nice if I find a few more. Or something here. Maria Wildberger's diary. Anna and Emma may be identical twins, but their personalities are quite different. Anna is an extrovert, a noisy and attentive girl, while Emma is quiet and distant. Some days ago, and after much effort, I finished making two beautiful dresses for them. It took them a single afternoon to almost completely destroy them. They came back from the forest, covered in dirt from head to toe, with twigs and leaves in their hair. The dresses were torn and frayed. For a brief moment, I almost flew into a fit of rage. But I pursed my lips and, after taking a few deep breaths, explained through my tears just how much work those dresses took to make. Anna's eyes became misty and she babbled an apology, her eyes fixed on the floor. She seemed very regretful. On the other hand, Emma stared right at me with a clueless expression, and then, for only a second, a mocking grimace appeared on her face. Her cold eyes froze my heart immediately. Terrified by that expression and not knowing what else to do, I sent them to their rooms. They did not dine that night. Ah. Huh. Okay. That would lead to the next room, you would think. What we got down here? Oh, nails! Nails in the laundry! Right. <laughs> Better them out here than in the machine, I suppose. Seems like this one is working. Okay. It's shut tight. Okay. Oh. Right, let's get this open. Something's inside. Okay, it's shut tight. I, I, uh, hammer? <laughs> Maybe the crowbar? Or, uh, blood. Would you like some blood? How's this? What is this? It smells awful. It looks like more entrails to me. Okay, the button's stuck, so I, I can't turn it back on. And I can't push this back in either. Right. Uh, the scalpel, maybe? No, I can't jam it in and, and pry it away. Okay, uh, I don't really know how to get this open. All right, well, we'll have to come back to this a little bit later on. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else around here. Can I open that? No. All right, well, I guess we'll just... Oh. <laughs> I, oh, oh, hello. Where the hell did you come from? Right, let's see. Crowbar time? Let's try it. Oh, okay. Wallop. <laughs> it's like he's getting up just to get stunned. And now he's dead. Okay, yeah. Crowbar is pretty handy. But right, the door flew off for some reason. Okay, what is this? This is an empty box with a medallion-shaped mold. Now, this is going to be one of those three things that we need to... Uh, that we need to put down in the sort of basement of the main hall, right? We've already got one, but this is going to be the one in the center. The other one, I think, is like a... It's a disc or a keycard. But right. So we need to put something in this. I have an idea, okay? I have an idea. 
And I don't know if it's the best idea. I've got to be honest. We've got to... Can I combine that with this? Okay, it's filled with blood. But it's just filled with liquid blood. We need to freeze it, right? You see where I'm going with this? <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay, okay. I mean, maybe there was a better use for the blood, but that, that seems like it is going to work. All right. Uh, I think we're done here. I got the moles. Should we just go through? We're going through. I probably shouldn't enter a room that I've never been into before with a crowbar, quite honestly. Let's at least go through with the nailer. Okay. Oh god, there's gonna be... There's gonna be something or someone in one of these baths. I can feel it in my bones. That Okay, there is actually something in that bottom left one. It's an arm holding something. Can't get to the other side here, though. Uh, can we keep on going down this way? Okay. What have we got back here? Anything? Ooh. Alright, a little bit of a scare. And a little bit of a first aid kit. How many of those have I got now? Four. Wow, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is a nice find. Mm-hmm, okay. Um, I can comment on this now. Such an awful way to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Uh, seems fine. Sounds fine. Looks fine at the moment. What have we got here then? A high pressure hydrotherapy device used in the early 20th century to treat mental illness. Like a really, really high pressure shower. Probably shouldn't have walked in there, just in case it actually did turn on. Um, shotgun shells? Hey, I like the shower room. So this. Oh, it's a floppy disk. Names are written on the front. Okay. Nothing on the back by the looks of it, but okay. I'm thinking I probably need to take that to the computer in the storeroom, the warehouse area. Okay, okay. I, well, maybe this goes in the main hall, you know, in the basement of the main hall. I'm not really sure. That's it? That's it, apparently. Okay. Hey, nails! Hidden away. And what? This is just going to take us back to the corridor? It is indeed. Okay. Well, interesting. Very interesting. So, what's the next move? I should probably go to the warehouse, and I should probably go back to the past as well, because I think I need to freeze this blood, and it's going to take some time, obviously. So uh, yeah, let's go through this way. Might not be the quickest way, but um, might be the safer way. Alright. No more enemies have spawned? No? Okay. Um, well, I'll tell you what, actually, since I'm here... I guess I can just sort of nip into the storeroom down here, can't I? Yeah? Through this door, I believe. That's it, the warehouse. Okay. Gotta be honest, I'm expecting more enemies in here. But I'm not seeing them. Right, okay, so let's see. Insert the disc. I've got the disc. I need to write a new... I actually do need to write a keyword. Um, uh, well, it was probably one of those names on the front, right? Can I... Yeah, I can just type this in. Okay, it looks like it's going to be six letters max. Uh, it's probably not that. <laughs> but I'm still... Oh, God, please don't do this. Uh, oh, it, it didn't. It's, it's right protected. Okay. I was hoping it wasn't going to work, otherwise, you know, maybe I couldn't undo it. But okay, it's actually right protected. Um, so, okay, let's get it back out. Let's have a look at these names. All right. Uh, none of these really mean much to me. Okay, nothing on the back at all. 
Interesting. Okay. Does, I, I seem to remember that, like, resets floppy disks. It's been a while since I used a floppy disk. Was that the... No. Hang on, is there something on the other side? Oh, hang on. There is something on the other side. Three plus six minus nine? That's what it says, isn't it? Or if it's upside down, it's like six minus nine plus E or something. I don't know. Three? Okay. I'm just going to note that down. Okay. Not equals nine, but minus nine. Meaning that we're left with zero. There isn't a zero here. There's nothing on the front here? No? Okay. Okay. Kala? No? Uh, hang on. What we got here? Oh! Oh, this... Was that the right protection? I, I I think so. Hold on. Let me just put that in. I'm just going to type in that. Yeah. Does it work? It does. It does. I mean, it's not going to be PPPPP, obviously, but... Okay. That little switch. Is there anything else that I've missed on this thing? Nothing down there? No? 3 plus 6 minus 9. Right, so 3 plus 6. Loma. Tisha. Minus Lois. It, it can't just be zero because there is no zero. Unless there's a zero somewhere else and the clue actually isn't anything to do with this. But why is this here then? I tell you what. I, I'm going to think about this as I go and freeze some blood. <laughs> so yeah, let me get out of here. Let me get back to the projection. Let me go back to the past, and let's go back to the kitchen. I always hear something terrible down there, but I never see it. Very strange. Maybe there's an enemy that I left unkilled, but I don't know where it is. Uh, speaking of enemies left unkilled, this is going to be a dangerous area now, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> hey! No! You missed. You missed. Right, up we go. Uh, this side, I think. I'm still not sure, even after all this time. This is the meeting room? This is the meeting room. Good. Okay, I think... Yep, the tape's still playing. So, in we go. Right. So, I dealt with the battery, obviously, but not the freezer. That is about to change, I think. This is going to be a grim thing when I take it out in the future, isn't it? But let's see. Right, so... A filled mould is going in there. And that's it? Yeah, nothing else to do here. That's the only thing I wanted to freeze. So I'll have to come back in uh, well, a few days' time and pick it up. Now, was there anything else to do? I don't think so. Not here. I don't really have access to much else. And as I said, I'm done with the battery. I think it's I think it's time to go and collect it in the present. So yeah, we've got to go back down to the chapel, really, and we've got to go into the kitchen. All right. So the main hall is now a spicy room. <laughs> Shall I kill the people here? I don't know. I kind of want two spicy rooms next to each other, is that wrong? Hey, it, it seemed to work out there, so... Right. Okay. In here? Yep. Is this going to be a dangerous kitchen? No, it's not. No. no. The only danger here is me, really. Okay, let's get this open. Right, it's been freezing for a while. Alright, uh, uh, brilliant, I've taken it out. It's a medallion made from frozen blood. That actually doesn't look quite as bad as I thought it was going to. Uh, but that is going to go into that second slot in the basement of the main hall. I, I, I just need to find this... Well, maybe I've already found it. Maybe it's this that I put in it. 
But then what keyword would I put in it? Ah, jeez, I don't know. Right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the second one down there in the basement. And uh, I'm going to see if the floppy disk fits. I don't know if it will. But let's try. Let's try for science, shall we? Okay, down here. Don't spit. Oh, yeah, that went over my shoulder. We all saw that. Why did I get hit? <laughs> I, oh, okay, you know what? This may be a little bit too spicy. So, um, let's remove the spice with a the shotgun. There you go. That is my spice removal system. Oh, are you kidding me? I was trying to, to back away, but it didn't really work very well. Okay. You know what? This was all so I could actually use a first aid kit. Yeah. <laughs> That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Anyway, let's see. Uh, this surely goes in. It's the perfect shape. Wait, perfect. Amazing. So, this. Is it this? It doesn't fit. Okay, so it isn't a floppy disk. It's something more. It might be another disk or a card or something, but it's not this. What I think I do with this is I... I put it into that scanner upstairs. Let's see. Let's go back to the files. Let's have a look at the map. So, was it the east floor too? Yeah. That bedroom is inaccessible. There's a scanner right there. And I think that's where I put the floppy disk. Maybe we should go... Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the bedroom. I'm going to look for a, a name or a clue. Maybe something that that has a zero on it. Um, and maybe I can get into the office. That's where I want to go, according to Father. That's where I need to go. But yeah, if I go through the bedroom, the penthouse, I can check out the children's room and, and get into the office as well. This is locked, right? Or at least I can't open it, and I figure it's probably connected to this. Okay. No disc. Well, I've got the disc. I just probably don't have the right keyword on it. It's reading it. And there is some sort of error. Okay, so let's eject it. We, we, need, to, we need to rewrite this, obviously. Three plus six minus nine. Lomar and Tisha. And Lois. Would I have to do this three times? Would it be Lomar to start with, then Tisha, and then Lois? That seems a bit much. It, it, okay, right, um, it's minus nine. Take the letters out of the names, maybe? So let's take L-O away from Lomar, so it's Ma. Let's take I-S away from Tisha, so it's Th. Is it... Is it Martha? Is Martha a significant name here? Feels like it's Batman vs Superman or something, but... Maybe. 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 I'm still looking around for anything with a zero on it, because maybe I'm just overthinking this. But that does seem like a strange coincidence. I needed six letters as well. That was that was the max. That was the limit. Down here, this is where I think we want to go. And it's locked from the other side. I do wonder if I can maybe turn the lights off? Maybe something will have changed, you know? Now I can actually see in the dark, so... Okay, it's, it's still locked from the other side. Um, I'll try the bedroom. Although I'm not holding out too much hope. In fact, I've probably just turned the reader off. Oh no, that's still working. But I still can't open it. So, yeah, I don't think that really changed much. <laughs> I really am risking my life by going back and forth in between all these swords. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I think we should go down to the warehouse, the storeroom, whatever you want to call it, and I think I want to put in the keyword Martha. Martha. Enter. The overwrite is complete. It doesn't tell me if that's a, a good keyword or not. <sighs> Alright, well, I, I can only try, right? Damn. It, it feels like I'm using the combination key again, just sort of like having stabs in the dark, trying to work out the logic. God damn. And that's one thing with this game that I don't know if it's necessarily a good thing, but I don't necessarily hate it either, but it doesn't give you too many hints and tips as to what you really need to do. It, it won't tell you if you're kind of close on the solution. Especially with the combination key, for instance. It didn't, it didn't say like, oh, one's right, but two are wrong, or, or anything like that. And, you know, with this keyword as well, it's not, it's not telling me that, oh yeah, Martha, you've used that before. But then, I don't know, maybe it wouldn't. Maybe, maybe this is wrong. Maybe I'm not doing this right. Well, let's try it. Let's try it. I'm, I'm hoping that I can get into the bedroom and then, yeah, that is going to help me get towards the office. Okay, so, moment of truth time. Let's slide this in. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's not an error, it's granted! Uh, uh, I, I can actually eject it, I don't know if I want to. Let's keep it in, let's keep it in. Yes! We're in! We're in! It's the bedroom. We're in the bedroom and it looks like I'm safe. I... Oh, hang on. Looks are obviously very deceiving. Right, that's enough out of you. I don't know if I need to do any more. <laughs> now nah, you're done. Oh, bloody hell, okay. Right, so... Uh, yeah. Let's see, let's go around the room. Let's see what I can pick up. Is there something there? Yeah, it's hard to see, but it's more morphine. Lovely. There's the door that I'm hoping is going to be unlocked. Something over here? By the fireplace? No? Nothing? Nothing at all? Alright. Uh, got this dressing table. And I've got a worn vinyl record. Okay, it's been played a few times. I can't really examine the details. I can't really see what's written there. Um, okay. Have, have we... Have we seen, like, a gramophone? A record player? Anything like that? Could be one in this room, I suppose. There's a there's a tape by the looks of it. There you go. Anything else? Maybe something in the wardrobe. Nope. On the bed? Ah. On the bedside table. I'm expecting. William is hopeful, but is more measured and demure than last time. He hired a maid to serve me, and she's not left my side. At first, I did not like the idea, but Anna and I have become good friends during these months together. She's almost my age and shares a love for art. On some afternoons, we talk for hours about famous artists, poetry, paintings and sculptures. I feel a little guilty. I could never talk about such things with William. Of course, I never cared too much about the only subject he loves to discuss. Medicine. Hmm. Okay, so it's just these two, is it? Seems like it. Seems like there's a lot more written there, but okay, alright, there you go. Uh, Gab? <laughs> Something about Gab, alright. Gotta be honest, I'm a little bit surprised that I can't have a look at that bag on the bed, but alright. Okay, let's, let's switch back to this, just in case. Let's go through. And we can go through, good, the penthouse. Okay. Uh, oh wow, all right. Oh god. Oh! Is that a tasty face? Oh jeez. Uh, oh god, no, no. Oh! Hey, hey! No, 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 no. Uh, no. Definitely not. Let's not do this. Holy shit. Fucking hell, right. Okay. Tell you what, let's go with something a little meatier. Let's go with this. 
I, I should have reloaded before. Uh, hang on. Okay. It seems like you go through things? And you're actually like a spirit? I don't know about this thing, I've got to be honest, right. Oh god. It just keeps on coming back, right. Uh, uh, can we just get out of here, maybe? There's a door. Okay, okay. And we're into the office, this is where we want to be. Right, yeah. Oh, and there's a record player. Yeah, okay. Right, obviously I want to go back in there, but, but yeah, I, I don't know if that thing can be killed, honestly. It takes quite a beating, anyway. Uh, let's see. Put the needle over there. Give it a spin. Okay. The background music quietened down so I could really properly hear that. That's obviously very, very important. It's well worn as well, so it's been played a lot. Let's listen again. I'm guessing that I'm going to need to replicate that in some way, somehow, somewhere. Um, okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go to this. Let's get this reloaded. And let's have a look around the rest of the office. Before we go back to the penthouse, because we do have unfinished business. More nails. Thank you very much. More machinery. Another bag. Would this be the door? Right, that was locked from the other side. Now it's unlocked. But let's stay here, shall we? A photo of a metallic door. Have I been there before? Yes, you have. And there's there's rusty gears on that door. Right, I, I almost forgot about that, honestly. Right, so uh, is there a clue in this painting of how to get through? Really sure. Oh, well, hang on. Hi. Damn. You look fresh <laughs> in comparison to you know all the other bodies and stuff that I've seen. Well, yeah, there you go. The body is still warm. He was probably alive just hours ago. What is going on here? Okay. Is there something on the desk? Uh, lots of blood. Um. Ah, surely. Yes, I can read this. Okay, so. I returned to the restroom where I left the subject and found she had escaped. How could I be so reckless? I have no more test subjects, and since everybody has relocated to the new hospital, acquiring new subjects is complicated. I'll not wait any longer. I cannot stand by seeing her in that state because of me and my ego. I will proceed to administer Maria with the antidote. Oh god. Okay, so I've injected Maria with the antidote. At first, her body began convulsing, and she released a deafening shriek. It lasted only a few seconds, after which everything went back to silence as she collapsed into bed. It was her. Her skin, her hair, her eyes looking at me, completely lucid. When she moved her lips weakly to say something, I stepped closer to listen. What she said stopped my heart. William, my father has taken the girls. I stepped away, perplexed. Her eyes slowly closed, and a pleased smile spread across her face. Did she wait all this time, trapped inside that thing, to tell me this? Her life has finally ended. Rest in peace, my love. The unspeakable things I will do to you have no name, Noah. Once you tell me what you did to my girls, you will beg me to take your life. This is odd. I don't feel well at all. My heartbeat has accelerated. My mouth is dry. My eyes are cloudy. My throat is tight. These symptoms. Someone's poisoned my wine! Oh, right. Well, that explains this, I suppose. Yeah. So that's spilt wine. Hmm. Well, and blood, probably. A little bit of a mix. But that's how he was finished off. Shit, alright. Are these doors? Can I... Oh, it's too dark outside to see anything. Well, I've got a light! <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. What's this? More books about... <laughs> More books about science, just like the experimentation room. Makes sense. 
Other side. I'm just wondering if I can maybe slide these out of the way or anything, you know? Oh, there was something there. Okay, a collection of books about science in the only place where there aren't any books. <laughs> ah, right. Uh, okay, we've got a, a bust. Oh, nice. Um, hammer time? It doesn't fit. Oh, I see. I need to find the other eye. It's a bust of an old man. One eye socket is empty. Okay, so we're not trying to pry this one out. We're trying to find another one to put it in. Uh, right. Okay. There's no other angle that I can get of this. There's no button on the back or anything. No. Okay. What's this? <laughs> not WD-40, WE-40. Loosens rusted parts. Aha! Well, that actually might be used with the door that's depicted right there. So... I think that I think that means we're going to take another trip through the spicy room, <laughs> the original spicy room. Okay, it's a fireplace. It was recently ignited. Oh, damn, is that is that more blood down there? I think so. Okay, what's this? Uh, some sort of box. It's shut tight. Wait, that's it? You don't want to open it? I... No, I guess not. Well. Or I can't, one of those. Okay, uh, so let's take a quick look at the map. East, yeah. So here we are in the office. I ran through the penthouse. I did miss out on the children's room. I guess the door wasn't actually that too far away, so maybe I should just slink on back in there and see if I can sneak around. Where's she? I don't hear anything. This way? Uh, oh no, it's, it's not a dead end! There you go, into the children's room! Okay. Everything seems fine. Looks can be very, very deceiving, of course. Okay. Uh, something to read, at the very least. We fled the mansion, making as little noise as possible. We went to the port down the hill. Mother was agitated. She was having trouble breathing, and huge blisters were appearing on her skin. We were halfway over the old wooden bridge, 65 feet above the river, when men wearing those awful suits appeared from behind trees on each side. Mother held my sister and me between her arms as we inched closer to the railings. The men approached us slowly as the bridge started to moan and crack. Mother pushed us closer and closer to the barrier. One of the planks broke, and my sister screamed and fell over. I caught her by the arm, but wasn't strong enough to hold her for too long. And she fell. I couldn't do anything to stop it. Mother didn't have any time to react and lost her footing too. The men grabbed us and took us to Grandfather Noah. Mother looked worse with each passing second. So, she fell. Is she me? Maybe I was rescued somewhere down the river or something. I was adopted, you know? I adopted a new name, and now I'm back. That, that is what I'm thinking. Anyway. Grandfather had me thrown inside a locked cell. He told me that no one would hear me, no matter how much I screamed. He also said that since my sister had died, I was of no use because he needed both of us to open the vault's entrance. Interesting. Okay. After he walked away, I was left alone, locked inside a cell with a single candle to provide light. I screamed and cried until I was exhausted. These may be the last words I will write. I'm sure I'll die here. Why did all this happen? I wish you were here, father. And then next up, she meets me. Yeah. I don't think her sister died. I think her sister's me. She grew up. Okay, what we got here? Ooh. Something could fit in this slot. Um... Not something that I have, I don't think. To be honest, that reminds me of the back of the floppy disk, but I don't think it's going to be that, is it? Staple gun? That doesn't fit? No? A scalpel? No, that doesn't fit either. Weird. Uh, stethoscope? Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> well, there's something, obviously, but I, I don't know what that something is right now. I'll have to come back. Can't open the chest. Got some drawings here. These children's drawings are unsettling. 
Well, one of them is. Yeah. <laughs> Aside from that, nothing else to find. No, no nails, no shotgun shells. There's this, which is a little strange. Don't know what to do with that. Again, if you have any ideas, let me know. But right, let's go back to the penthouse. We've got some unfinished business. Um, okay. More bodies. All paired up, of course. Makes sense. Okay. Over here? What a gruesome experiment. More conjoined twins, a giant set of lungs by the looks of it, and a brain on the right. What in the fuck? Alright, where is she? She's floated off somewhere? Is she back here somewhere? I'm not logging on to anything. Did, did, did I kill her? I didn't think I did, but... Right. Well, there you go. That's what she was feasting upon. That guy's fucking face. I can't examine it, but it looks like there's maggots and stuff down there. Ugh. Okay. A couple of candles to illuminate the area. Right, there's... There's nothing else here. I, I don't really know what happened there. Maybe I did kill her. Hmm. Oh well. Seems like she's not going to be a problem anymore. So, right. We're, uh, we're going to go back to the office. We're going to, I suppose, go through the office door. And, yeah, we're going to have to go back to the little room. Okay. Why the music here? <gasps> Oh, she's... Okay, she's here. She's here now. Oh, God. Right. See, she goes down, but she gets back up again. I, I, I honestly don't know if I can kill her outright. Man, I thought that was going to be the easier way through. Sneaking through the morgue. Jeez. How much health did she take away there? Am I on caution? I am. Damn. Woo! Okay. Well, we, we made it back here, so we should be able to get to the little room and, uh, well, hopefully get that door open. Yeah, the, the, the more progress you make, the more enemies show up and the harder they are, it seems. I'm okay with this. Yeah. <laughs> I am okay with this. Oh, maybe I'm not, actually. Um, right. Hello. Oh, God, it's that fucking mini-boss. He's back. There's another one. Right. Okay, okay, uh, what's it gonna be? Is, is that your death knell? I'm just gonna keep on hitting you. He's down. He's down, he's out, he's not coming back. Okay, let's get this reloaded. The shotgun is <laughs> it's kind of becoming my new primary weapon. How many, uh, how many rounds have we got left for it? Oh, nine in total, that's not great, but okay. Oh, let's have a look at this again. So, can't get it open. I need to force it. Uh, and this is too rusted to move. Well, we can sort the rust out. There you go. And, well, presumably these ones down here as well. I don't know if there's anything else that's rusted. So, let's try it again. Oh, I, I still need to force it. Uh, did, did I try the crowbar before? Okay, I think I did. And, yeah, still nothing happens. Um... <laughs> the hammer, possibly? Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. Yes. <laughs> I sound surprised by my own solution. Okay. Let's go through. Oh boy. The newborn room. The newborn room? Wait, hang on. So... It might not be exactly like it's displayed on the map, but... Yeah, yeah, there's the newborn room, there's a delivery room, there's an east wing hall that we haven't had access to yet because that that's locked from the other side, so... Alright, yeah. Let's see. Nothing in the sink? Nope. I'm not locking onto anything, I think we're okay. Famous last words right there. Oh, I, okay. I'm... Oh no. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. What is that? What is that? I was thinking that was going to be... Oh, what the fuck? I was thinking that was going to be a new enemy, but no, it's just these guys, I think. Oh, wonderful. These children's drawings are unsettling. No, the ones upstairs were. This is just downright wrong. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Okay. It's crowbar time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's not let him get back up. That's it. Crowbar's actually a pretty decent weapon. Yeah. The skeleton of Siamese twins joined at the head. Fuck me, right. So I don't know if that experiment was a, uh, a success or a failure, quite honestly. Another one of these funky doors, but I guess I can go through? And I can, right. The delivery room. There you go, just in case. So far, so good. No, take it back. I take it back. <laughs> right. There you go. Stay right where you are. Is there another one or is that... Oh, no. Bloody hell. I thought there was another one behind, but uh, no, I think that's just a reflection. So we can probably get to the other version of this place, the reality. Anything else? Oh, shotgun shells. There you go. Thank you very much. More stretched faces, obviously. Anything else? Uh, two giant baby heads? That I can't seem to interact with. That's probably a good thing, really. Jeez Louise. Okay, well... Um, I think the door that's supposed to lead out of here is kind of blocked and it's there. But I am wondering if it's going to be blocked in reality. If I go back through... Okay. Oh, oh, I love that music. That's, that's savoury music, isn't it? I should really learn to reload and equip this before going into rooms. <laughs> okay, that's blocked up. But yeah, I can save here. Should I? I've been playing for a while, but eh, let's go on a little bit further, I think. Can't do anything there. There's the door. Hmm, right, okay. Well, we're into the East Wing Hall. Okay. I'm getting a very Resident Evil vibe right now. What's this? An oil painting of an archangel brandishing a weapon. A sword. A glowing sword. That must be a very significant sword. Can I find that sword? The crowbar is good, but a sword would be better. Nothing there? No? Okay. Looks like there might be something to read. Yep, yeah, more of Maria's diary. William, they have taken the girls. Father put a sedative in my drink, but luckily I realized before swallowing it. Wasn't so lucky. I tricked him into believing that I was sleeping soundly, then got up and crossed the hall towards the meeting room where I could see the light from under the door. I put my ear against the metal and could hear my father's voice intertwined with other men. Everything is ready for the ritual. The wild burger girls have been taken to the temple, said a voice I did not know. Perfect. If everything goes as planned, I'll be the, I'll be the next leader of the Pollux sect, and together we will bring our savior back to the world, answered my father. After that, they walked in line towards the mausoleum. I must rescue my girls. If I do not come back with them, I hope you can forgive me. I know that you will do what is right. I love you. Pollock sect? Mausoleum? There's a mausoleum around here? Okay. I think I did actually hear an enemy somewhere. Yep. Alright, hold on, hold on. I think there's more art to look at. Another archangel? Yep. There's definitely something up with the sword. Okay, well, I'm gonna need to find this sword, I think. Alright. Uh, tell you what. If I'm right, that's gonna be one of the weaker ones that just sort of crawls around without any legs. 
yeah, that's it. Should be able to finish him off without wasting too much ammo, you know? Oh, is that another one? Oh, God, I think there's another one. Alright. Uh, back to this? Back to this, I think, yeah. Where are you? <laughs> I know you're around here somewhere. Nowhere down here. Uh, up here, then? Oh, yeah. Nice. It's a, it's a nice weapon to use, actually. I kind of wish I had more ammo for it. Oh. Yeah, these guys, they're just meant to be pummeled by this crowbar, it feels like. It's designed for them. Is that yet yeah, another one? Okay, well, hang on. It's actually, it, it's not a sword anymore. It's a spear. Right. So, do I get a sword and a spear? Can I make a phone call? No, I still can't make a phone call. Uh, was there anything down here? Uh, we've got a clock. Oh yeah, we can have a look at the clock. A clock puzzle! Of course there's going to be a clock puzzle! Uh, right. Oh boy. Oh, it's, it's the time and the date. Wonderful. Okay. Dual effect. That's the company name. Haha! -ha. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright. Let's have a little wander around, shall we? What's down here? Okay. With that... That might take me out to the pharmacy. For once, no weapons being brandished. Unless, of course, you, you count the, uh, the farmer's stick. The day of our salvation finally came. Christmas? 25th of December? That might be the clue to the date. So does that mean the others are the clues to the time? It, okay. Right. I, I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. There were three others, right? Mm -hmm. That's a thick one. Interesting. The other one was just a, a fairly typical looking sword, you know? Yeah. I'm wondering if they're meant to be hands. I think this might be the minute hand. The one I just looked at, the thicker one, that might be the hour hand. And then the spear, the really thin one, is going to be seconds. It's a bit annoying that this is kind of tilted, but I, I, I figure this is probably meant to be pointing at three, right? So it's like 15 minutes past. Let's see. Let's see. Let's look. Let's have a little look. Let's work this out. Okay. So the hour hand, what was that pointing to? Okay, so it's pointing down to the left. I would say that would be eight, personally. So I'm going to say it's going to be 8.15. The second, that's going to be 20, 25, based on memory. Uh, one of the two. Definitely one of the two. I'm going to go with 25 to begin with. And then let's assume this is all uh, 25th of December as well. So let's let's try that, shall we? Can we go back like that? Oh, we can. Good, good. I'd have to hit the button quite a few times otherwise. So that is going to go all the way around to 8. This is going to come back to... That's it. That's it. What's this? An ornamental eye made of jade. And that is going to fit into that bust, that statue in the office, isn't it? Right. And that's it. Okay. I'm actually quite proud of myself. That was, uh, that was a, a simple puzzle in comparison to some of the other ones, like the combination key ones. But hey, yeah, I, I feel smart for figuring it out. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. I think this is going to take us back to... Here. Yes, it is. I wonder if she's still here. Maybe she's moved on. I don't really know. Either way, I think I should probably go through with this at the very least. Uh, can I not equip this? Huh. What? Is that? Is that a bug? Hang on. Ah, okay. Well, that, that's more like it. That's more like it. <laughs> right. Doors unlocked. We're going through.
doesn't sound good, but I don't see her. Okay. I'm going this way. I'm going this way, and I haven't been met with anything quite yet, so we're sneaking through into the spicy room. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, all right, they tried new tactics. They tried spitting, it didn't work. Not spicy enough, guys. <laughs> Everything's okay? No one in here? Apart from, you know, what's his name's corpse. Right, so, let's see. <laughs> How did I do that? Oh, so that opens the box. Let's take a look at the box then. What are these? Oh, right. Seven buttons. Seven different notes, different pitches, and, um... Well, I think I'm going to need to listen to this again. Probably a, a few times, honestly. Okay, so it's like one, three, two, two. Let's see. I need to try and match up like the first couple of notes. Let's see. That might be the right one to start the second bit, like four, five, and six. Da, da, da. Right. Nope, that's too high. Okay, alright, um, well, that's the second bit that I'm trying to work out. It, it would be good if I get the first bit done. Tell you what, I, I'll, I'll just hammer away at this for a while and, well, hopefully you'll see the finished product on the other side of the edit, alright? No. It, I, I tell you what, it might be... Oh! Okay, okay! Fucking hell, there is actually something behind the bookcase as well! I was just kidding! Alright, well that took... I don't know how long that took, maybe ten minutes or so? Just a little bit of trial and error, but uh, we've got it open. We've got it open. I don't know what we have open, but we've got it open. We've got a, we've got a hatch here. Oh my goodness. Right, let's have a look at files. I don't think there was a hatch in this... in this map, right? It doesn't mention anything. There's a gap between the office and the children's room. I guess that's where we are right now, but there's there's no hatch mentioned. This is just... Well, this is off map. This is where I'm going to say thank you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the pumping room? Okay. Yeah, just like the experiment room, this was not meant to be seen. All right. Feels like I'm back in the boiler room sort of area, you know? What we got here? A diary? A young child's diary. Part 5 this time. Thanks to that stranger, I was able to get out of the cell. I hid the best I could inside the mansion, but Grandfather and the suited men found me again. This time, they took me to the sewers under the family crypt. He told me that I wouldn't be able to escape, no matter how much I cried and begged. Then he closed the door and left. Luckily, he didn't notice the lighter and flashlight I grabbed from the mansion. I found what appears to be a bedroom. There's a filthy bed, electricity, and even a functioning television. There are boxes of food and a pipe that provides drinking water from above. The smell was terrible. It reminded me of the suited man who struck my mother just before she freed us from the metal crosses. Seven years have passed since my last entry. The television, that only offers local channels, is the one thing that has kept me sane. Sometimes I wonder why I still hold on to life. I think we actually saw this area down in the boiler room, didn't we? Anyway. Blisters have started to appear on my skin. I can feel a burning sensation. With each passing day, my appetite diminishes, while the vomiting only gets worse. Something is taking over me. Something evil. At night, I listen to the sounds of clanging metal from behind the door that leads to the underground temple. 
After all these years, I am still unable to sleep with those noises ringing out. Underground temple? Underground temple. Okay, alright. Would that be next to the mausoleum by any chance? Or maybe they're one and the same. Okay, that's locked from the other side. I don't know where that would go. Yeah, maybe the mausoleum's down here. Okay. We- Whoa! Oh, okay, right. Uh, tell you what, I'm gonna run away. Ah! Okay, he's- he's mad. He's angry. Understandable. Uh, tell you what. There you go. There you go. And... There you go. Right, if you're anything like the guy in the other world and the miniboss, it's two of those and you should be down. Okay, cool. <laughs> We're back to the more calm music now. Anyway, I was just trying to examine these. And I can't. Never mind, never mind. Okay. Right. Uh, let's see. This way? A little bit of a blockage there. Can't go any further. Where the hell is this going? Alright. Uh, looks like there's more of Bertrand's diary. Not much, but I have finally found my purpose in life. The truth came to me through this book and from the hand of the Creator. Right now, I stand inside the sacred temple. In the presence of a god waiting to be reborn, I can clearly see my destiny. I will dedicate my life to the rebirth of the Pollux sect. Together, we will bring back our saviour, so he may return light to this wicked world. Does that not look like that coin that I found? I wish I kept hold of that coin. Oh shit, can I somehow get that coin back? Was there like a return change button on the machine? Because there were those weird symbols on the reverse of it as well. Looked like a constellation. I didn't check, to be honest. Maybe I should have checked. Maybe I can collect that coin again, because I think that coin's far more important than it first seemed. Hmm, okay. This just keeps on going. Oh, hang on. What's this? Ah. His ID card. So it wasn't a floppy disk that was needed. It was an ID card, is that right? I think so. I think so. Alright, so... Well, I'm hoping it is the ID card. If it's not, then I'm kind of a, a bit of a dead end again, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm going to see if I can go back to the chapel and collect that coin. I'm going to see if I can get it back. Even though, you know, that would be me getting free blood. Uh, and then I'm going to see if I can go into the basement of the main hall and insert the ID card. Man. What other secrets does this mansion have to offer? Any more secret rooms? There's a temple? A mausoleum? We haven't been to these yet. Oh, she okay. She just turns up. And I don't think she can die. She would have died by now, you know? I feel like I'm maybe wasting too many rounds on her if she's... Yeah, I've only got six left. Uh, I don't know. It, it's, it's hard. It, it's hard. I've got to kind of stun her to get around, I suppose, sometimes. That's a good way of doing it, but, ah, uh, fuck. Right. Let's go down here. I think there's still someone lurking around here. Yeah, there is. And hopefully they're not in the way as I try and get into the chapel again. Okay, good, good. Right. No more enemies? No? <laughs> it's quite a cluttered corridor, really. Right, let's see. Nothing else to do here, so I can't get the coin back. Well, I, I didn't really take note of the symbols and the pattern on the back of the coin. Hopefully that's not going to be too important. Or I can find another coin. Or there's actually no use for another coin. You know, maybe I'm never going to see anything like that again. It's just one of those things that I recognize. I don't know. Oh, well, I'm glad I checked at the very least. Okay, so let's see. Let's go down here. Hopefully it's safe. Hopefully there's no one lurking down here. So far, so good. Right. The ID card? It is. 
That's all three! Which unlocks that door. Oh boy. I feel like maybe I should go and save. I, I, <laughs> I don't know where this is going to take me. Oh, well, this is going to take me off map, isn't it? It shows there's a door, but, but there's, there's nothing on the other side. Let's find out what's on the other side, shall we? Stairs. We've got stairs. Okay. Right. Stairs that lead down. There's like a basement too? Oh man. Maybe this is the mausoleum bit. You know, maybe this is the... Temple. Okay, we can go down even further. Right, before that, let's just go floor by floor. I don't know, I don't know how, you know, far down this is gonna go. We've got a door here. A door that actually does seem to work. A decrepit bathroom. Fantastic. Oh, even better. It's a save room. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, this is great. Okay, anything else? Maybe a toilet? Ah! A toilet! Yes, with a tape. Doesn't seem like the flush is working, but never mind. No one's perfect. Um, right. Well, this is my kind of room, really. Hmm. I have been playing for a while. And I can save right here, right now. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching part four of Tormented Souls. I really hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, leave this video a like. Leave some support in some way. And I hope to see you back for part five as we explore underneath the mansion, underneath the hospital. We're going off map. See you then. Oh, on the other side. Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I was going to get a reaction there. He just shook his head and, well, I don't know. I thought it was just going to leave me be. So, so I'm hearing an enemy. Why am I hearing an enemy? Hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this just much more dangerous now? I guess we're having a maximum soda. We <laughs> don't really have much of a choice. Five, two, two. All right. Hey, we've got... That is not maximum soda. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're just... Ooh. Like a really, really high-pressure shower. Probably shouldn't have walked in there, just in case it actually did turn on. Uh, it's probably not that. <laughs> but I'm still... Oh, God, please don't do this. Hang on, is there something on the other side? Oh, hang on, there is something on the other side. That actually doesn't look quite as bad as I thought it was going to. <laughs> and it looks like I'm safe. I... Oh, hang on. Looks are obviously very deceiving. Oh! Is that a tasty face? <laughs> oh! Gee. Hey, hey! No, 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 no! Hi! A collection of books about science in the only place where there aren't any books. <laughs> Why the music here? <gasps> the hammer, possibly? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yes. <laughs> I sound surprised by my own solution. I was thinking that was going to be... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, we can have a look at the clock. A clock puzzle. Of course there's going to be a clock puzzle. This is going to come back to... That's it. Okay, all right, they tried new tactics. They tried spitting, it didn't work. Not spicy enough, guys. <laughs> How did I do that? Oh! A decrepit bathroom. Fantastic. Oh, even better. It's a save room. <laughs>